Yeah, it's party night in Washington. Several inaugural balls have, believe it or not, already occurred. Some are going on as we speak, and some will be scattered throughout the nation's capital tomorrow night after Barack Obama is sworn in as our next president. In tonight's Good Question, what to expect at those parties? Believe it or not, there are 10 different official inaugural balls. The Obama, the Biden, the Midwest, the East, the Green Ball, the Youth Ball, the This Ball, the That Ball. I mean, there are so many. I'm not even sure now which ones are official. And if you think you can get by with a black tie and tux, forget it. The dress for a lot of these balls is white tie, which means it's the most formal attire. It's even above black tie. So for women, it means long, formal evening gowns. And for men, it means a long tuxedo jacket with tails and a white bow tie. Lisa Mirza Gratz, a Bay Area etiquette expert, says the big one really isn't a ball at all. It's the luncheon at Statuary Hall, held immediately after the swearing in, and you can't get in. And that's what Senator Feinstein and House Speaker Pelosi and all the others are putting on, and it's a major undertaking, steeped in tradition. And with those two in charge, it promises a distinctly Northern California feel, from the wines from Napa and the Alexander Valleys to the performance from the San Francisco Boys and Girls Chorus. A million people will attend these events, including the parade and the swearing in. I would pick the parade get on the parade route. I would do the outside and see everybody pass by. How wonderful would that be? I mean, this is steeped in tradition and what a great way to see it down Pennsylvania Avenue live. Send us your good question at cbs5.com.